A new survey revealed that kindness is considered the new sexy on dating apps, especially in Asia. Is this believable? And maybe our time's changing? Hey man, in Singapore, we don't want you to be a F boy, okay? We want you to be a K boy. A kind boy. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody, we are going to talk about this because, of course, this runs opposite to what a lot of people believe in America. The whole red pill, black pill stuff about, oh, everybody has to just be good looking. It's all about how you look. But then these surveys in India and Singapore, I don't know. People are maybe thinking differently in these countries or maybe it's the people who, who just got surveyed. Guys, we're going to get into the comment section. So please hit that like button and check out other episodes. Let us know if you like the commentary and the news we cover. Yeah, there was certainly a lot of arguing, Andrew, in right. the uh, Instagram of Next Shark. Basically, people being like, uh, the U.S. is not like this. What do they got going, with, uh, going on over in the East? Do you think it's true? Obviously, the fundamental culture, Andrew, is very different in the East, whether we're talking about Singapore or India, where uh, both these ads came from. Yes. Uh, kindness is sexy. But let's just say, so in Singapore, out of 500 Singaporean singles, the survey results revealed that 81% of respondents said that they are more attracted to kindness than outward appearances. David, this is the big number that a lot of people are, go, our heads are exploding about. Right, right, they're right. Because like, wait, 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 wait. What about all this chadism? I got to work out. I got to be Right, buff. looks maxing. <laughs> yeah. uh, SMV, black pill, red pill, I purple mean, pill. I mean, to their defense, Defense, these two commercials that take place in Singapore and India, these two guys are extremely good looking. And, I mean, you could argue that, to be honest, they're both better looking than the respective women that they're portrayed dating in, in each commercial too. But before we get into the comment section, I will say this. I've been to Singapore several times and I think that Singapore is a different place. I think it's a different culture. I do think even from a government standpoint, they do want to push more nice boys, kind boys, kind men. You know what I mean? As opposed yeah. to F-boy, because they're like, uh, listen, Singapore is such a small place. We don't have all the space for all the F-boys. I think if somebody was trying to become an F-boy and be super destructive and like degen to become super popular, the government would step in, honestly. Yeah. Much like, uh, you know, PG-1 was doing that for like rap music yeah. in China. They shut him down, right? I mean, I think in Singapore, generally, they do want their men to be men, but they also want them to be very kind. And, you know, I don't know. I think it's different out there. I, I mean, I think the truth is every country has a different culture fundamentally, right? But mm -hmm. Andrew, every country is made up of a bunch of uh, square plots, right? Uh, on a game map. Each single your game map could be different. If you go to Singapore American school, you might be more subject to American culture than the kid who's going to school, uh, a Mandarin local school, you know, and lives in the HDB. Exactly. Um, of course, SMV matters, right? I mean, SMV is sexual market value. This is just essentially like some combination of looks and status. Uh, the Bumble commercials don't mention this. Yeah, but I, I but, <laughs> but I the think guys are have really high SMV. I, I think we also have to acknowledge. I think it depends on at what point in time the man and woman and what they're looking for. For at that stage in life. I think that there are stages in life where young men and women are more thinking about outward appearances, and then later in life, they think more about kindness and caring and all that other stuff. But anyways, let's get into the comment section. And then, of course, we're going to get into our own takeaway. Somebody said, say less on my way to Singapore right now so I can swipe on Bumble there because I am a kind guy who takes L's in America. <laughs> somebody said, this has got to be the most BS study i ever seen. No girl's attracted to a kind man. And then somebody else said, way to show that nobody wants you. Um, this turned into a bunch of arguing, Andrew. There's, there's a whole thread about people saying, like, is the the game more red pill yeah. is a more black pill and then somebody i guess i don't know if kindness is like blue pill theory but you know what i mean yeah but i think that there's a difference between being nice being kind and kind and confident i think women really want a man who's kind and confident of course they want a man who's like also physically attractive but i'm saying it's that aside because that's already a given to an extent i'm saying like as a guy you can't just be nice because then you become a pushover there's this balance between being a man that's confident and kind. You know what I mean? Yeah, somebody said hard uh, to all the nice guys in the comments complaining about kindness not being enough for them to get a girlfriend, you're telling on yourselves. And somebody said, yeah, a lot of these nice guys typically aren't even actually nice guys at all when they mm. say they're a nice guy. Uh, I know that there was a big revolt, I want to say like five years ago on YouTube where people were going against nice guys, right? Toxic nice guys. Yeah, so, so that's this next comment. A girl says, don't be out here mistaking your niceness for kindness either, okay? Okay. Trash kindness, uh, real kindness is altruistic. Niceness is a transaction. So it's a lot of girls calling out guys who are just trying to be nice in order to get something from the girl, to hook up with her, to get some type of affection from her. But kindness really is more like, I guess, uh, that's just who you are as a person to everybody, not yeah. just her. 
I think also the way people perceive like niceness or kindness, it makes a lot of difference uh, on your baseline perception. If you are like this big buff tattooed guy and all of a sudden you're kind, it's like a, it's a nice little treat, right? right. It's a, like a present because you don't have to be like that. You could bully everybody if you wanted yes, to. Yes, exactly. It's kind of like if you're an intimidating individual, but you just show that you're kind, then it's way better than a small, unintimidating person being kind. That's going to be seen as like somewhat weak. So I think it, there's definitely a balance here. It's very complicated. I mean, is it like a being 7'5 and dunking? And then versus being five, six and dunking. If you're five, six and you don't, people are about to, their jaws are going to be on the floor. Somebody said, unfortunately, America, because of Asian hate, it does not pay to be kind. Sure, be kind to your partners and loved ones, but the rest of the world doesn't necessarily deserve that, especially when they will not treat you with the same kindness. Mm, uh, this is almost uh, like uh, tough. You know, this is I, almost like a little bit of a derivative thing. But yeah, I do think America is much more of a uh, jungle prison like environment than a lot of people are prepared for. Like, depending on which uh, segment or slice of America you choose to spend your yeah, time in. Yeah. I think the connotation is that kindness comes with more, uh, I guess, a little bit more, I don't know, I would say education or awareness than niceness. Niceness usually has a, a slight negative connotation. Like, you're, oh, you're just nice to everybody. But if I'm kind, I'm like, oh, I'm a man. I know no. my worth. I know no. my danger. I know my power. I'm, I'm, but I choose to be kind. It's, it's almost like I'm benevolent. Like a king. Only a king can be benevolent, right? Somebody said, this girl said, my toxic trait is I only want him to be kind to me, but not kind to everybody else. Mm. Yeah, some people like this. I mean, this is, the whole, the, this is the whole bad boy theory yeah. where girls want the bad boy to be like almost bad boy and intimidating to everybody, the rest of the world, but together they can just sit and watch Netflix. Exactly. This guy said, I was single for the longest time trying to be too kind. Mm -hmm. um, long story short, I would say this. A lot of nice guys are like extra kind guys. What happens is they end up setting their sights on a girl that is not feeling yeah. them back. And maybe there's an SMV mismatch or whatever, whatever. Um, like she doesn't like the way he looks. Or just, usually that's the case, but he just sticks with her because he's so stuck on it because he thinks he's being nice mm -hmm. or kind. Yeah. But he should be moving on to a girl who actually has the potential to like him back in the same way that he likes her. Yeah, I agree. Uh, here's my thing. There's some comments who are like, yo, who the heck is on these dating apps trying to look for people who look kind? Now, here's the thing. When you're on a dating app and the first thing you see is a picture, how do you know if someone is kind or not? And how do you know they're just kind through the messages? Obviously, at the end of the day, these people have to meet some type of looks, appearance, minimum prerequisite yeah for you but yeah but nobody likes to talk about that part though right yeah and i think that this might be a marketing ploy i don't think it's necessarily falsified numbers but i just think bumble is trying to play this up to get more people onto the app and be like hey guys bumble chicks like kind guys it's all about being nice guys and i do think it is about being nice oh it is more of a nice person app than let's just say like tinder yeah but it is about being nice and kind, but you have to have these other things with you. You need to be have perceived masculinity and power and, you know, uh, some type of attraction. Right, but it could vary culture to culture, yes. like in terms of like, you need a little bit more of this, you need a little bit more of that. I certainly think in America, they value the F boy or the bad boy more mm. than in Singapore, where it may be viewed as too socially deviant and therefore almost stepping into like the criminal lane. Uh, oh. Um, somebody said not in NYC and definitely not with women in their 20s. Kindness gets you a fast track to the friend zone. And this is what a lot of people said. Somebody said, yeah, Please tell that to my very kind single guy friends in their 20s that kindness is sexy. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's the thing. I, I mean, honestly, at different stages in life, people look for different things. And I would say, yes, a lot of attractive women in their 20s, they want, they have the world at their fingertips. They I would say they're have, looking for excitement. They want to have fun and they want a good time and they want excitement. They want a guy who's going to wow them, you know, and that's kind of their their time to do that you know and then when they get older and they want somebody more stable perhaps this is where they will value all the other things well, above what that. you're referring to is more of a macro trend obviously some people do not fit into this but yeah, yeah i would say that's generally true andrew somebody said the most black pill thing ever this guy said the only things that matter to male smv are social status normie tier perception height weenie length face and racial phenotype oh man uh <laughs> i mean Hey, listen, guys, I'm saying if you're in the club, there's definitely some logic here. 
I'm not saying I fully oh, you, agree with him. from the nightclub. Yeah, if you are talking about the nightclub environment, which is essentially like a meat market, people are just going off visual, who's, who's cool. That's why everybody's getting those dangling earrings nowadays, you know, in Gen Z. You know what I mean? Uh, this comment, as harsh as it sounds, it's not fully wrong. Um, Andrew, ultimately, let's just get to our takeaways, man. Is kindness sexy, or is it only sexy in Singapore and India if you're like a 9 out of 10 guy. I think in Singapore, generally, they want to push the idea of healthy relationships and being people being more kind to each other. Obviously, they have very strict laws, so I think that's how people are raised. I do think people are generally kind there, too. So I think in Singapore, it's probably more true. I think in America... I think it should be more true. But I think the key thing here is for a lot of young guys is not to get mixed up with just being nice to a girl as being actually kind. I think the truth is you do have to work on yourself, build yourself up, be a kind guy after, once you've built yourself up, right? Be strong yeah. and kind. Everybody wants a nice guy, but they actually want you to be strong and confident No, no, they nice. don't want you to, like, your only survival tactic to avoid getting squished like a little bug in the society yeah. is being overly nice right. to everybody. It's almost like you're clean cut, you take care of yourself, yeah. you work out, you're fit, you're confident, and you're kind. Great, but I was, I, But I do agree with you to your earlier point that I feel like in traditional societies in the East, whether we're talking about Singapore or India where these two ads occurred, they're more looking for a Prince Charming type from the 1950s, 1960s movie no. Cinderella. Whereas in America, they almost want you to have some like single parent energy in the sense of like they want you to feel like you were raised in a single parent household even if you had two yeah. loving, you know, cheesy, corny parents or whatever. You know what I mean? Like that's just like, the nature of the, the, the badassness of America. Yeah, yeah of what, no, it's true. Of what it, works. You don't have to be as badass in Singapore. You don't. They're not, I don't think that's the value system. No, everybody's got to go to military service anyway, so how bad can you be? How yeah. socially deviant can you be if everybody's got to be part of the government at some point? Um, yeah, but as far as, uh, you know, the SMV goes, you know, for the guys, I think there's a whole black pill world that emerged on YouTube, you know? There's like niche maxing, looks maxing, passport bros, all this stuff. I think that all that stuff is more like, possibly relevant to American guys. Yeah. Also, yeah, I don't think if you just think you're a nice guy, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to go to Singapore and then that's it. That's going to solve all my issues. Yeah, I think one of the main things is though, like you cannot get stuck on a chick that, that doesn't like you. Yeah. That is like one of the main things that I think kills a lot I'll of like, say nice this. Asian it, guys. If a girl is not attracted to you at all, simply being kind to her is not going to get it done. And you should not just be nice to her only solely just to get something. At the end of the day, move on. But anyways, yeah, yeah. guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below what you think about this. Are times changing? Do you think more women out there are looking for kindness? Any women in the comments, let me know what you guys think about it. And do you agree that in the West, especially America, people are looking for more like bad boys or F boys? And then over in the East, they might be looking for more Prince Charming kind of conventional stuff from like the 1950s. It makes sense. All right, everybody. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.